the door like this, um, doors would be about 2.1 meters high, and a door like this to kind of match with the windows and to give the windows elegance would have a, a, a small window or, or, or light over the door. And now what I'm doing is showing on the sides of the um, of this elevation door door elevation the depth of the uh, the reveals of the two side doors in the plan. And they're just trying to make the uh, the ceiling coven look a bit crisper. Again, just kind of lining in a bit more, and now I'll show the uh, the reveal for the arch on the other side. What I mean by the reveal is the, the depth of the opening to the arch. Again, it's a kind of scenic device to try to give the wall weight. Um, and now you see um, I've put in moulding around the doors and the windows. And this is kind of traditional moulding that kind of lays flat on the surface. There will be a sill at the bottom of the window which the moulding comes down to meet. a wainscot a skirting board across the bottom just to kind of give the room a bit more elegance the arch because the arch is circular it's it's not going to be possible really to put moulding around it's very difficult to kind of follow around the top of the moulding I think I attempt to do that in this in this drawing, and then realise later on that actually it's 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 a nonsense, and that I would have to uh, delete that later. So now I'm working into the drawing, kind of putting shadow lines in, again to kind of give the drawing a bit more relief, to make it uh, a bit more realistic, and for it to read better. Um, for the observer. Um, so what I tend to do is, to, is if the sun or any light is coming from the top left, then that, that shadows will be on the right of objects and underneath objects. And just to kind of keep that constant through. And now I'm just trying to give the model a little bit more character in this drawing. Um, rather than actually trying to be too specific about that. Um, details at a higher scale will show that moulding more correctly. Um, it'll probably in fact be chosen from a catalogue uh, from uh, uh, timber merchants who tend to have um, specific mouldings that you can buy by the meter. Again, just increasing the shape, the shadow. this is a kind of step towards the a model, towards a white card model, then there's a certain amount of designing going on in, in this drawing um, and developing it as I go. So I have kind of reference material um, that I would 
use this part of the drawing exercise as a way of trying ideas out. Wouldn't be afraid to try something out. And if it didn't work, rub it out and, um, and redraw it. We move on to the side elevations, um, and you can see the two sides, the, uh, the side with the two doors and the side with the arch. What I'm going to do now is to draw the arch. Um, so I mark the, the sides of the arch, and then take those up from that 45 degree line. And the top of the arch will coincide with the top of the, the inside of the windows. So there's a, a, a kind of proportion kind of carries through. And what I'm doing now is taking is to find the centre of the arch from where I describe a circle. So from the top two corners of the square outline, um, I'm finding the centre and the bottom edges of the half circle that will create the arch. We're using a compass now to draw the arch on. Um, I'm kind of making sure just before I do that, that the compass is in fact, um, that the, the, the point is in fact in the middle and, and adjusting adjusting the centre to make sure that that works. And I'm just beefing up the arch now to make it clear. I'm taking all the various elements through from the um, from the door elevation. I can take the mouldings and, and other elements like that um, right across so that the heights of of cross objects um, kind of maintain and uh, maintain and kind of coincide so that you can see how the various elements of the drawing, the plan and the elevations um, kind of support each other and, and to some extent are a check uh, against each other um, so that you can, as you run your eye along the line of the elevations um, you can see how things kind of work out, how everything is maintained. Um, but also linking the objects to the plan, being absolutely clear that, that the objects relate to the plan properly, that there are no um, mistakes. It's very easy to make a mistake in the drawing to get something the wrong way around or the wrong end. Um, so you, you should be continually checking and cross-checking as you draw um, and making sure that things do kind of hang together and do make sense. If something feels wrong, then quite often it is wrong and you should look through the drawing to see, to try to find what the mistake might be, because there may well be a mistake there. 